Greetings everyone, Ajon here. Today I'm going to cast a Dawn of War 3 replay. Or not 3, 2. Dawn of War 2 Elite Mod replay. I have covered them in the past, not all too successful, and I saw General Gentleman's cast so I figured, eh, it looks pretty good. Let's. I'm going to go ahead and cast one or a couple myself again. And let's see, Fog of War, and Fog of War off, there. And yeah, so it looks like we got the, what is this, the Mech Boy versus the Plague Commander, I think it was. Uh, there he is. Man, 4K, I tried increasing the UI, but it was, I can't increase the size of the UI, so playing 4K can be actually a bit problematic because everything's just so small on the UI. I'll try to see in between games if I can increase the UI, but this is actually quite small. We do got the mech boy teleported away into the VP. I am just for the VP, VP game immediately. We do have the Chaos Heretics moving around. And whoa! That mech boy's been really active. Plus I maybe adjust some audio levels so there's more like a test replay. We do got some shooter boys up here, some more shooter boys. We do got some slugger boys. And we have this mech boy now for a full retreat because of the lack of energy to teleport away once again. Didn't get a whole lot of damage, but did get quite a bit of good stalling and delayment of his opponent's economy as well as the VPs. VPs are very important in this game. They tick back down very quickly in comparison to a couple of heroes too. Jeez, I always forget how scraggly that uh, Gretchen can sound. Two shooter boys showing this uh, power generator who's boss. In fact, if you were to actually push forward, there's potentially a chance for them to quickly kill off those reactors as they're on low health. Because it starts out, it's this is a game where you start out uh, basically one health when building, and then you get more health as you continue constructing. Slugger Boy is not doing a whole lot. We do got the Plague Champion over here as well. And it looks like these Shooter Boys are just going to be walking back pretty much all the way home. We do got the uh, Voodas here, uh, some heavy machine guns, as well as the Mech Boy. We do got the what's it called the Chaos Marines in behind heavy cover there, and we do also got the Nurgle. Uh, ability from the heretics. Mechboy comes in into melee, tying up this unit in melee, preventing them from shooting, allowing these units to engage at full damage. He's focusing down the heretics, because the, I think the Nurgle, I really don't know all the Nurgle or the heretic abilities, but I think that's caused a pretty good health regen. As you can see, they're hardly taking any sort of damage thanks to this nearby ritual. They are getting suppressed by the Luda, so this is only stalling. He does lose a model there. The Plague Champion now shows up. No weapon upgrades just yet for him, nor for the Mech Boy. Yeah, not sure how it sounds in the recording, but it sounds pretty loud in my ears. Oh, wait. The Mech Commander actually now has the Heavy Machine Gun upgrade. Which, of course, grants him access to suppression. And damage. Pre-sign the step set, set up. Or... Wait, that's Death Gun, is it? Yeah, Death Gun. For some reason that sounds like the uh, Zap Gun, for some other reason. And we've got the Grenade Launcher, as well as Grenade Launcher ability knocking him back. They are immediately getting uh, to focus down by the units. We do got, uh... Looks like a, some knobs. Or at least uh, the officer upgrade for the shooters, I believe. And we also have now the uh, Chaos Havocs. Or Raptors, I should say. They jump in and immediately retreat. Guess they didn't really like the engagement. There are some flamers upon these squads as well. So overall, the Orc player has a pretty good, well, for lack of a better term, blob. Dawn of War 2 and Cover Years 2, while similar, they're very different games, especially in gameplay. Grenades raining on in, pretty good range artillery, pretty much. 
focus on the Buddha, that's a good idea. They take energy to reinforce. Looks like the Chaos Heracus will deactivate the ritual and engage in melee. The grenade launcher once super wounded, and now the Raptor's doing significant amount of damage. And it looks like they've been. For some reason, I thought there was a. Uh... What's it called? One of the sound marines, but I think that's the catch came from the Raptors. It does focus on one of the generators. Overall, very, very good aggression by the Orc player. Hasn't sustained a whole lot of losses, and this Luda has been very effective, just the suppression, reducing speed, rate of fire, and everything. AS Raptor immediately jumping in down on the Mech Commander, but he teleports away. So the leaders do do a full retreat. They most likely will get out. Oh, they're actually really close to going down. They actually entirely goes down. Oh. Still has the mech commander here for suppression. But getting that little pick there is actually very, very important. If you go look at the what's called the income, the mecha the orc player doesn't have a whole lot of resources. He's getting Storm Boys of Own, so he's getting his own jump infantry. So it would be an econ squad numbers, but you can see he has less ink econ. I think they're both still at just a tier one. I think those jump infantry may require tier 2. It's not exactly hitting that uh, power generator. They're shooting uh, a bit short. He needs to reposition those. We do got the orc units now coming out once again. And the storm boys are here. Don't see any upgrades on them just yet or anything queued up like that. Shooter boys, of course, have the big shooter upgrade. And we, of course, see the flamer upgrade on the slugger boys. Just a grenade launcher on these guys. Raptors have no upgrade. And here comes Storm boys. I need to decapture this uh, requisition point. Heretics coming on in. They do have uh, the, uh, I think that's the officer that goes upgrade with them. And the Heretics are getting ripped up because the Storm Boys are more of a powerful unit. Does do a Suicide Blast right there. The does do a full retreat. Now, he may easily lose that squad over here. Don't see a whole lot. It looks like Heretic Squad will actually escape. We do see a Tarantula Sentry Gun. Or a Heavy Bolt Turret, I should say. The Plague Champion Super Warden does have an upgrade of the... Like grenades. Mech Commander getting rushed on down by the Havocs. The Havocs may need to jump on out. We do got the tier 2 coming out for both players. They actually jump in. They have plenty of energies. So they can... And the Slenesh is sort of like suppressing them as well. Back to the unit tab. Yep, still the same upgrades, both upgrade in tier 2. Not sure what we'll see, probably a Blood Crusher. Blood Crushers are always potent, to say the least. Maybe some Blood Letters? Can't really say. Your player's power to siege these power generators once again, and they're still wounded, he hasn't repaired them. Not really... A Repairing takes quite some time, so it's not uncommon to see them not repaired. But we do got the heretics here. They're gonna go straight in, try and get some suicides in, I guess. There's a great suicide, knocking him back entirely, and suppressing this uh, all these units. But the suppression has worn off. He goes in for another suicide, doing a significant down amount of damage. A full retreat from one squad. He's gonna run straight past some of these units. Grenade launchers engaging. Chaos Marines eyeing for melee because the melee does extra bonus damage versus retreating units. And it looks like Tarantula Sentry, the heavy bolt turret, will get some damage, but not a whole lot. You got, oh, a Chaos uh, Raptor there. But 
does get suppressed by this unit and does go ahead and jump on them to suppress him. We do got the Death Dread, however, out. Immediately being upgraded with the Burns Up Nib Blitz. Let's use one of his global abilities. The uh, Heretic, yeah, does retreat on back. He's still trying to go for the Chaos Heretic. Looks like he will get. Nope, he's going straight for the Laz Hunter, and he's upgraded it to Laz Guns. Now it's no longer a Heavy Bolter, and that does extra vehicle damage. I wonder. It's prioritizing some other units. There we go. Got the retarget onto the Death Dread. Will. And hits a Storm Boy right there, so it's splitting his fire for some odd reason. Death Dread super wounded. We do got the upgraded Storm Boys, the improved rocket packs. Which adds in like a Storm Boy knob. Nice usage of that ritual to heal up some nearby units. Let's see, do we see any units from the Chaos? Looks like we do have some actually full Plague Marines now. Upgraded, I think, with the rocket launcher. Death Dredge Eye to rush on in, perhaps onto these uh, power generators. Plague Marines need to reposition in order to gauge it. Plague Marines just now started to re-engage. He does deactivate the initial point, doesn't get any of the reactors. Good damage coming on down. Now we got a whole bunch of shooters here. The, the Havoc or the Raptors should need to fall back relatively soon. This is taking quite a bit of damage. And does jump out with two models left with barely any help. Like Marines do fire once again, gets sniffed out damage. Raptors retreating on back. The Death Dread needs to get out of there. Does roll a miss there. The Plague Marines should try hiding high this high ground. And the play commander actually gets a kill on the Death Trev. Nice little pick there. Those things can be quite resilient and hard to kill sometimes. Over here we just got some Chaos Marines capturing up along the sides. More grenades coming on in. We got some um, the heretics over here as well. Plague Marines, they they stay upgraded with the rocket launcher. I wonder if they can be upgraded to something more anti-infantry now, because now they don't really need an anti-vehicle unit. While it does do good damage for some of the heavy units, it's not super needed to say the least. You got tier 3 being researched by the orc player, that is something big to know. Two shooters here, pretty wounded though. We've got the regeneration. Increase in survivability is nearby units. The Plague and Marines are engaging at close range, by the way. The other Heretic Squad does fall back. The Plague Champion is getting a bit wounded. It's crew has three upgrades as well. Does capture the central point. The Mech Commander does teleport away. We got the Plague uh, Chaos Space Marines now coming up on the sides, a little bit out of position. Does retreat before the Storm Boys impact, and now we do have a full retreat. Plague Marines are the last to fall back. They are the most resilient of all the squads. Good way to draw fire to allow the other squads to stay at full health or stay at full models upon retreat. And now we do got an upgraded Chaos Raptors. Upgraded with the Maul, the Power Maul. Great damage coming down on the Storm Boys, as well as the, lack of a better term, Ear Rape coming through. Two squads of Heretics now move on forward. He's doing some flame damage, but not really focused. He needs to focus on that low health generator, honestly. Go! Pretty good size retreat coming out from the Orc player, and now we also have a looted tank on the build queue. What does the Chaos Marine plan? He's not building anything. I think he's saving up for a tier 3. Let's uh, look away from that. 
can't have Slanesh infect their ears. But yeah, we do have loot tank. I think you need what 200 uh, energy for tier three. So I'm assuming saving up for it. Buddha tank is now out. Some serious firepower. Luckily, he still has plenty of anti tank. The chaos player. He has the the mall, which does good vehicle damage. I think it does stuns as well. We do got the plague marines, which has the rocket launcher, as well as the plague champion has the anti vehicle weapon, the power fist. Cover the upgrades once again. Perhaps we should cover the up upgrades. We got the armor pestilence as well as the blight grenades. We got the ritual coming on up for the energy regen. Storm boys jumping on in. The chaos havocs do engage as well. Plague marines are being focused. They're tied up melee, so they can't engage the looted tank. Jump on in once again. Doing some great damage. Full retreat. Almost get a couple squad wipes. And using the ritual to heal up his ears once again. Oh! That was a great shot from the looted tank. Grenade launchers may need to fall back relatively soon, though they are getting healing regen from the nearby Ritual. Still, no tech up. Actually, quite a bit of requisition draw. Whatever these are uh, building. Oh, second squad of Plague Marines. And in fact, we see them right here. That is going to be a very resilient force, especially with these nearby Rituals. Do these rituals stack? And we do also got a heavy bolter coming on out, which does I th it, it does suppress, I believe. And so he may not even need to upgrade it to a last gun. If he keeps it as a suppression model, it will of course be good for suppressing, to say the least. Stormboys jumping on, on the havocs or the raptors. Oh, looks like we got some upgraded Chaos Marines with the Mark Zinch. Another great shot from the looted tank. But you got quite a bit of special coming out from, I think, from the grenade launchers. I think move on forward in, but there's a multiple anti vehicle units here. Good suppression coming in from the Raptors. Sluggers coming on in, does force back the Raptors, they do are quite beefy. Storm Boy's eyeing to jump on in somewhere. On Pond the Retreat trying to get the Raptors. Doesn't appear to be a lot of healing as well as some global abilities being activated. One of the Chaos Marines barely managed to get out. Plague Marines getting suppressed and focused. Looks like the Storm Boys and the Sluggers are following him back. Mass Retreat coming in from the Orc player. The mech commander is covering the retreat. Great shot from Luda Tank. Once again, he's on point with that. Wonder what the red is like. What is the red resource even called? Oh, I heard our boys are dead. Did he lose a slugger? Yes, he did lose a slugger. Nope, he still has them. Was it the mech commander? This be worth me wild. Not sure what he lost. He's got 200 points left. He still has a slugger, which is quite important. That's the only squad that can repair. Oh, the mech commander can repair as well. I forgot about that. 
We do got a Chaos Shrine of Nurgle, and it appears to be reinforcing. I wonder, is it free for reinforcements or does it still cost income? If it's free in reinforcement, that's really powerful. This map is very focused on center engagements. Not a whole lot of room to flank and harass other points like in other maps. So this is going to be a big slugging fest for the rest of the game, I would say. Looks like he's going to be eyeing to stop the uh, decapture that requisition. The requisition points in this game works as in once you capture it, you get partial income, and the longer you have it, you get more income. So decapturing is actually quite important. Capturing it, not so much. This uh, power node up here has not been captured. I'm not sure if it's been captured the entire game. So that's uh, free energy that either player could be getting. We've got a pretty good flanking route. Try and avoid the heavy bolter. As well as potentially just crossing the T for, say, in, uh, an aggression. Or he could use this. Finally kills off that low health uh, power generator. And could use this to draw his opponent into a more favorable engagement. Do got uh, chosen Plague Marines. Ooh. Which are not the Plague Marines. They're actually a, a whole new squad. Super resilient melee unit. Nice suppression there. Both the Plague Marines are moving on forward. If the Plague Marines come over here while all the as well something to draw fire plus and gauge over here, he can get a pretty good collapse upon. But he may not know exactly where that looted tank may be at. The mech commander being right here is very annoying. It protects the flank of the orc player, but he will get jumped upon by the ha raptors. But the raptors are sitting huge amounts of damage. Does keep all the models here. Going to go by the nearby rituals to get healing. Stormboy is getting a nice suppression there. Does stun the ritual, but it's still going on. Looks like some global abilities being activated. The Stormboys appear to be poison of some sort of effect. Another looted tank. Oh. And there's a huge concave on these. Uh, chaos units. A power shot right here could do some significant damage. There goes the slugger, I believe. Or maybe that was Storm Boys. Raptors do get on out. And these units may need to fall back. The Chosens could go down. There's the seat receiving quite a bit of fire. Chosen is still pushing on forward. Looks like they are casting some sort of area effect there. Rock, one little thing's almost going down. He needs to get. Oh, goes down to the upgraded uh, last gun turret. Nice pick there. Didn't see that being upgraded. The mech commander may in fact go down. Mech commander does in fact go down. Tickets are heavily going down. Looks like in the middle of all this, he captured the point with the grenade launcher squad and casts in the GG. Or the well played, I should say. And yeah, very, very good game by both players. This is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.